We are at that point now in gaming where developers have the power to make games look incredible. From more accurate environmental lighting and shadows, motion capture so animations look natural, face capture to convey a character's emotions, draw distance, photorealistic textures, depth of field, higher frame rates, resolution and so many more features that help us almost forget that we're even playing a video game. In this video I wanted to highlight 11 amazing looking games that you might not know even existed. So this video is going to be focused mainly on visuals but I'll mention gameplay here and there. Let's get started. First on this list we have a game called The Lost Wild. It's a first person survival horror game but there are no zombies or monsters here. We've got something even more terrifying, dinosaurs. This is the Jurassic Park game I wanted. Imagine if Torok and Resident Evil had a baby. You play as Saskia, a reporter that finds herself trapped alone in an overgrown Japanese research facility and you have to craft, survive and find any means to escape. It looks stunning. There's a lot of lighting tech used here, especially on the wet trees and leaves. The environment looks really nice with a lot of cinematic gameplay moments it seems where the dinosaurs get really up close and personal and build that sense of fear it's been in development for years by a studio called great ape games its scheduled release date is still to be announced on pc with consoles coming later down the line but i'm excited for this one Next up we have The Day Before and I can't lie, this game's overall concept is my dream game. It's a post-pandemic open world MMO survival game set in America. You can expect high risk high reward gameplay in a large open world with PvPvE, inventory management, loot, crafting, weapon customization, player housing and a lot more. I know it's quite reductive and easy to compare games to other games but I think it's clear where The Day Before gets its inspiration from. The Division, The Last of Us and the more I see of this game the more extreme extremely hyped I get for its potential. The visuals are incredible, the world seems dense with a lot of attention to detail and something to note is that it's one thing to create a world that looks great but this is a game where you have to loot things in the environment so the world needs to be interactable and it's living because there's other players and AI about. It's a monumental task that the developers fantastic games have undertaken and if they pull it off I think this could be the next big thing. I know what you're thinking and you know what I'm a glass half full kind of guy so I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. It's releasing June 22nd. 2022 on PC and PS5 and Xbox Series X versions have also been confirmed to come later. Wu Cheng Fallen Feathers is doing a lot. It's a Souls-like RPG from indie developers Lenzi Games. The game takes place in Imperial China at the collapse of the Ming Dynasty and the visuals are really impressive from the gameplay they've shared with us already. It's very early on in development and rumour has it we're looking at a 2024 release window so we won't be seeing it for a few years yet. Visually there is a lot of really interesting things going on here. There's a lot of fog covering the environment which gives colours this warm glow which I think looks really nice and like with the first game I mentioned the Lost Wild, there's a lot of great lighting and reflections going on with the wet surfaces and puddles of water. I love the weathering effects they're using. And I don't know about you guys, but I just love the vibe that lightning strikes give in video games. Expect some close quarters battles with intentional swings of your weapon because the combat is stamina based, but I will say from the gameplay shown, the combat still looks like they're working on getting the weight and feel right. It looks promising and I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for future developer updates to see how the game's coming along. Here's a take on a character you've probably seen depicted in other games before. The Monkey King himself, Wukong or Sun Wukong, I always thought that he's one of the coolest mythical figures you could base your character on and it's no different in Black Myth Wukong. It's an action RPG from developer Game Science with a way more brutal and mature spin on Wukong's lore. The scenes and battle arenas are jaw dropping. With how big the arenas and enemies can get, I think it's important to highlight the scale of it all because these environments are no joke. Definitely one of the more photorealistic games I've seen in a while and Black Myth Wukong has particle effects galore from weather effects and ability effects. Just take a look at some of the bosses you'll be fighting. Even though next gen is now current gen, still when I think of the term next generation, Black Myth Wukong is one of the first games that comes to mind every time. It's still in pre-alpha and it is looking like a long way out but I've got my eyes glued to the development of this game and it can't come soon enough. It'll be out on PC and current gen consoles. This is actually one of two games on this list from developers Pearl Abyss. Doke V, I love what they're doing with the visuals here. It's a mix of photorealistic environments with hyper stylized characters. And if your PC's graphics card is already cowering in fear from looking at Black Myth Wukong, then Doke V is about to straight up paralyze it because how can a game look this good? It looks like you need about three 3080 Ti's just to run it and I say that as a compliment. 
Dokkei V is an open world action adventure RPG where you collect creatures called Dokkei B. The game encourages an open play style and promotes exploration and I can already see a lot of players getting completely consumed with what the world has to offer even though a lot of what it has to offer is still unknown because there is not a lot of information about this game at the moment and even after watching the trailer it's anyone's guess. I don't know how they're gonna do it but this game is actually coming to all systems including last gen. Project Eve is an action adventure game from developers Shift Up Games and these devs care about detail because these close-ups they're showing of the facial animations, textures and reflections are very impressive. You play as the protagonist Eve and the story takes place in a not too distant future on a ruined earth against unknown enemies. I will say for a lot of the games I've mentioned on this list, the enemy designs have been on point and that's the same for Project Eve. These designs are very abstract the combat looks fun and has a lot of cinematic touches with slow motion camera whips and pans it looks like it's got a lot of flair to it they describe it as a tough adventure so i'm hoping the game is challenging because what fun would it be if you could just breeze through it all the playable environments look fun not as grand in scale as black myth wukong is but still a lot of detail in the confined spaces from what we've seen in the trailers project eve reminds me of near automata and i love that game so i'm looking forward to it we don't have a date for the release just yet but don't expect to see it before 2020 It'll be out on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, but it's currently being developed with a heavy bias towards PS5, so I suspect it'll be a timed exclusive on that platform for a bit. The second game on this list from Pearl Abyss, Crimson Desert, it was shown earlier this year and it created a lot of buzz. It's an open world action adventure RPG in a war-torn medieval fantasy setting. I know I said the day before was going to be an ambitious game, but Crimson Desert takes it to a new level of ambition. The world seems huge with a lot of different biomes as far as the eye can see or as far as your GPU will allow to render. There's a clip in the trailer of the character riding a dragon through the skies and god damn it looked good even though the trailer was running at like 20 fps but still there's a lot to take from this trailer what seems like an intense story hard hitting combat with a variety of ranged and melee weapons and abilities side note if you didn't know pearl abyss are the developers of mmo black desert online which has fantastic combat for an mmo so they have a great combat blueprint to work from loads of exploration puzzle solving and different traversal options it just looks incredibly feature packed they've said it's releasing in winter 2021 but with two months left at this time of me creating this video it seems highly unlikely and if i'm honest a project of this size i'd prefer it if they just took their time it'll be out on all platforms I won't spend too much time on this one because there is not much information about it just yet. All that has been shown is a snippet trailer of a battle prototype. The game is called Project M from South Korean studio Hound 13. It's a dark, brutal RPG that was shown at the Unreal Summit 2021. If you don't know, that is where developers go to see new tech and flex what they've got on the Unreal engine. Unreal being the engine that a lot of games are made on. It does look interesting, but once again, it's still too early to say, but I've added it to this list just in case any of you want to keep an eye out for it. Atomic Heart is a first person open world RPG and this game looks terrifying. It's from a Russian studio called Munfish and it's creeping me out big time. The abstract old future tech aesthetic is just weird but I like weird and that's the reason it's on this list. A lot of people are comparing it to Bioshock which I can definitely see. It's not as visually flashy as some of the other games on this list but the visuals are definitely up there. You play as a KGB agent investigating a catastrophic event that has happened somewhere in an alternative universe in Soviet Russia. This isn't a guns blazing sort of game. Ammo will be in short supply and there's a big emphasis on melee weapons and there's also elements of crafting in that you can strip the robots you've killed for parts and fashion them into all sorts of things. The developers claim that every fight is different and you must use your arsenal of arms and even special abilities to overcome your enemies. I know a lot of people have been watching Atomic Heart for a very long time. It was rumoured to be released in 2021 but that date is still to be announced. It'll be out on PC, PlayStation and Xbox. I feel like a broken record here now, but Lost Solar Side has been in development for years. There was a trailer of it shown five years ago and another dropped more recently in 2021 and the development looks like it's going really well. Where it was five years ago compared to now is night and day. 
Lost Soul Aside is a fast paced hack and slash game inspired by Final Fantasy and Devil May Cry from Ulti Zero Games, being supported by the China Hero Project, a project on the PlayStation platform which strongly supports Chinese funded game developers to help them get their games to a global market, which means that this will be a PlayStation exclusive. But I think it's pretty cool how it started off as just one guy by the name of Yang Bing developing the game, and now it's a full fledged team. You love to see it. You play as protagonist Kazar and his companion who aids him in a variety of ways. Since he can shapeshift, he's your weapon and he's your means of traversal. The abilities and moves look so slick. And I'm not sure how to describe it, but I love that the moves fill the whole screen. If that makes sense, like the combat, it's a spectacle is what I'm trying to say. And the areas you fight in are kind of plain to make room for the size and the amount of abilities on screen. Like it looks very combo heavy and I can't wait. There's been nothing said about the release date for Lost Soul Aside, but I'm excited to see more of it in the future. The final game on this list is Project Awakening from Psy Game and God knows where this game is. But I'd like another update or gameplay from the developers ASAP. I'm going to condense an interview they done with Fextra Life in 2019 about what we can expect. It's a fantasy open world RPG with multiplayer elements where you can get together with friends and battle large monsters. The devs say its primary focus is action more so the role playing side of things. The devs are not fans of the standard way of progression in games and they think it's boring and he goes on to say that he'd like Project Awakening's progression to be a bit more deeper. For example, if you carry a huge sword all the time, maybe your muscles increase in your arms as well. It takes inspiration from orthodox high fantasy, think Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. For a sense of scope, the boss battle featured in the trailer that you're watching currently is about 1% of how and what the devs envision the game to be. It was initially being developed for the PS4 and PC, but we can assume now it's being developed for PS5. And that is it, radio silence ever since. We don't know a great deal about Project Awakening, the official website is just the trailer and some screenshots, but from a few interviews lingering around, we know it's being custom built on a brand new engine designed to support massive AAA games and they're aiming for a realistic look. It does look pretty good to be honest and like a lot of games on this list, we have no idea when it's coming out. And that concludes our list of 10 amazing looking games that you might not know even existed. What are your general thoughts? Let us know down in the comments if any of these games weren't on your radar but now are. What are you looking forward to? What games did we miss that you are extremely excited for? I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Durani from VG247. Peace out everyone. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed it. It's free and you can always unsubscribe at any time. Take a look at our other videos if you like. Also, check out VG247.com for around the clock gaming news and updates.